We're going to go over five steps start to finish so that you can write a blog post using ChatGPT. We'll find long tail keywords. We'll write an outline. We're going to get a content brief. We're going to write the post and then we're going to check to see if AI detectors can detect that it was written by AI or not. Now, am I recommending that you write full long form blog post using an AI tool? Not necessarily. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it. If ChatGPT is full, you can head over here to OpenAI, head over to the playground. You're gonna to have to log in and all that stuff, but you should have a login already with ChatGPT. And basically you can select a chat option over here with uh, DaVinci 3, which is pretty darn good, but it's not gonna be as good as ChatGPT. Just select chat from the dropdown and then you can go from there. I've been baking bread recently, so let's focus on that. Let's find some long tail keywords. All right, let's type this in. 10 long tail keywords for sourdough bread. And then we're gonna get 10 options here. We're gonna pick one, and then we're gonna ask ChatGPT to write an outline for us. Let's pick one of these here. So we'll, we wanna get an outline written for, we'll say sourdough bread fermentation time. What a sexy topic. All right, we're getting some nice detail here. There's a lot more, there's a lot more depth to it than I even realized. Now let's get a content brief. You could use the content brief, maybe it'll save you some time, but you can also provide the outline and the content brief to a writer if you don't wanna write it yourself or you don't want ChatGPT to write it. So this could give us uh, some great information here, but basically we're looking for roughly a one pager that will have subheadings for SEO, the intended audience, and can really help a writer out. Perfect, so now we have a content brief and a detailed outline. So you could take those and give them to a writer. We're going to we're going to use ChatGPT here, so I'll say write a blog post based on the outline and content brief. Use a friendly casual tone written in the first person. And then I also asked for three suggestions for images, which I haven't done before. And just for the interest of time, I'm going to say aim for 500 to 1000 words. Okay, so we ended up with this text here. So it looks like we didn't get the subheadings we were looking for, but thing is it failed and I had to restart it here. So we're gonna roll with it here and we're gonna check it over on originality.ai to see if it can detect any plagiarism, number one, and we're gonna see if it can detect the AI as well. All right, originality AI will check for plagiarism as well, which is pretty cool. So if you're working with a writer, um, or an agency is really good to just check it out here to see and understand if they used AI. So let's just paste it in here. We'll hit scan now. It usually just takes like under 10 seconds or so. We're gonna let it go in real time here and it'll give us a score. I talked to the founder, John Gillum, interviewed him on this channel and he said it's about a 94% accuracy rate. So here's the thing. It says it's 3% original, 97% AI. So that's not great, but it depends on what you're trying to do. So I would say, you know, you need to go and edit, fix some things up, put in your own thoughts here, and then um, no plagiarism detected. So that's really good. Again, if you run into any issues like I did as far as chat GPT timing out or er erroring, you can use the playground on the, the beta area and use the chat feature. It's not going to be as good, but it's pretty solid overall. If you have any questions, if you have any comments or anything like that, did I make a mistake? Did I do something stupid? Let me know. Leave a comment and let me know. If you have any suggestions for videos, let me know about that also. Plus I have free AI resources. So if you stuck around to the end of the video, it's 100% free. You just head down to the description. There's a link there. It is behind a course platform, but it is free. You just have to put in your name and email so I can send you your login information. So a lot of resources there, some other demos that I don't publish here over on YouTube.